Hey, this is Russell, and I am going to now record the final episode of the One Employee Challenge uh, run. And as you probably see, this is going to be a long episode. And I'm sat down here with a Dr. Pepper, some Oreos, I have some water in the fridge that I can get later during this episode. And yeah, um, I plan on this being the last episode for a couple of reasons. One being... I missed a lot of episodes, uh, a time for uploading this episode. I've been very busy, um, so I haven't put episodes out for this for about a month, actually, and I'll explain why in a bit. So yeah, there's that, uh, and I want to record an extra long episode for to make up for all of that time that I didn't upload. It's not that I am not pumped to continue playing this game, it's that I haven't had a lot of time to continue playing this game. I'll probably talk about that in the course of the next couple hours or so, but uh, if I have the time to, because there's a ton of other things I want to talk about while I do this. Um, the other reason I want to end it is because I'm finally getting around to doing that one video that I've been wanting to do for a while, where I talk about the, about power generation, and uh, how to use things like windmills and solar panels and effectively i'm going to give a lot of numbers in that video probably 75 percent way of done editing that video and and uh i i just need to do the last 25 percent of it and that shouldn't take long to do because i've already done like the hard number crunching and stuff like that already so uh that video is going to come out a week after this video is posted um and then the week after that, I have a new challenge that I'm going to talk about this video as well, that uh, I'm going to start a new game. I am going to do it on impossible difficulty, and uh, I have a, a new challenge that I'm excited to share with you guys. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. This, by the way, is very inefficient. Uh, so if you want to know how to generate electricity efficiently, stay tuned for next week's video on how to do so, because... We're going to be doing that efficiently in that video. We're going to be doing it inefficiently and efficiently, just to show you the difference, actually. Um, so without anything further ado, I am thirsty. So I'm going to open a Dr. Pepper. If my... Ah, there we go. Get some of the drink. Had a, was that a hiccup? I'm not sure what that was there. I'm not sure if that was a hiccup or me just uh, running out of air. <laughs> I guess I'll know in a bit. So yeah, we are in our mansion. I'm very happy with the outside look of this mansion. Uh, I think the inside, there's some parts that are pretty cool on the inside, some parts that are meh. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyways, mansion. And my goal is to just do design deals until the end of this game. That way I can focus on talking about other things and uh, have some fun. So let's see what we can do with design deals. I'm curious to see what, if any, royalties I make off of them and so on and so forth. How much uh, I can do. Right now I'm just going to stick to one design deal because I'm not sure how much of it I can complete. Actually, I might just take another. Did I get a second design deal yet? No, actually, I haven't. So, yeah, we'll see. It looks like I can complete it at a pretty quick rate. So, actually, I shouldn't be too worried to take on more than one design deal at once. Um, I should be able to handle at least three at once. And I'll only be assigned to one at once, the one that's going to come out first. Um, but, yeah, I think that can work pretty well. Uh, Space Wars is eventually going to die off. We're going to keep putting money into it and everything because there's no reason not to. Um, until it just stops making money altogether. But it looks like it's continuing to make money. Past month was 247000 uh, and we still have in stock quite a few, so we got to sell them off. Um, overall, I've been pretty happy with this run. There's things I could have done way more efficiently, and we will talk about that in a bit. But overall, it's been a pretty fun run, and... Uh, I can't complain about it at all. And maybe I'll talk a bit more about, you know, do a bit of a recap of that ru this run. Uh, when I'm feeling tired and I'm feeling that we're getting to the end of the episode. Um, So, yeah. First, let's talk about 
why I haven't uploaded episodes of this for a little while. And that's a question that actually I don't really I'll know the answer to. So let me think this through. Um, I think I went on a trip. If I get the timeline correct, I might not get the timeline correct because it's been so long. I went on the trip in the middle of August, I'm pretty sure. And I think I recorded an episode like after August. But then after that, uh, my boss went on vacation and... During that time, uh, because we have a lot of workers that don't know what they're doing, even on my days off, I had like my phone next to me and people calling me about certain things um, because I'm, I'm actually ever since uh, that one guy resigned, I've been there the second longest out of all the employees. So yeah, I've been relied upon a lot. Um, and the week after that, I had to take on extra hours because one of the employees had to uh, do some stuff. I, I don't want to, that's not uh, something to talk about online, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I took a lot of extra hours. I, I've been under a lot of pressure. Um, that's why you haven't seen uploads of any kind for a little while. I just ran out of things to upload for the time being. Actually, I, I still have like a lot of like multiplayer footage to upload. But yeah, um, and in general, I've just been more busy. There's there's things that's been going on in the house. There was like a repair that needed to be done, actually. Um, that was done. Um, in general, the channel is going to go to uploading two main videos a week instead of three. Because before I had like multiple series, I actually uploaded two episodes of a Civ 5 series. And I've deleted them off my channel and I will probably redo those episodes and re-upload that footage at a later date far down the line because I can't be uploading three main videos a week right now. Um, it's just too much. So I have some multiplayer footage that of Civ 3 that I'll be uploading for the next four or so months. And then I have this series that I'll be doing a live commentary on. Uh, not this series, but the next Software Inc. series, my bad, that I'll be doing like a live commentary on. And uh, yeah, those are the only two series I'm going to be focusing on. I'm still excited to play Software Inc. Um, I'm more excited, though, to move on to the next challenge that I have going on. I think it's going to challenge me more. I think because I know how to handle energy stuff, like the windmills and solar panels better, that it can be interesting in that regard. And I think that the route that I'm going is going to make for some pretty unique gameplay. Um, not like game, not gameplay that I've seen on YouTube before. So yeah, I think that's, I'm really pumped for that. And we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I still haven't gotten another design deal yet. I do have a receptionist, right? Yeah. Interesting. But I guess no one is coming in with design deals right now. Huh. Interesting. Okay, and I wonder if that's just because we need to raise our reputation more, or if there's some other factor. Maybe they see that I only have one employee and don't think I can handle multiple design deals. I don't know if there's some filter for that, uh, but I will need a new design deal soon because I'm going to be done with this iteration pretty soon. I'm tempted to, if I don't get another design deal this next month, then the month after that, I will probably hire a second receptionist to handle the second half of the day, and hopefully I'll get some more design deals that way. Let's get a sip of Dr. Pepper, and then I'll start talking about the next series. Uh, so I need to watch the end of this month in case I don't get another design deal. Um, so the next series I'm going to call the Phone Operating System Only series <laughs> and it's kind of in the name the only thing i am allowed to sell is phone operating systems and that makes things very tricky because a it's hardware and with hardware you have to put a significant investment in to sell it because it takes like a huge amount of money to sell it and everything uh b only focusing on one market means if you fail in that market, ooh, I have another design deal, finally. If you fail in that market, then uh, there's no like other market that you can invest in. You 
just have to keep pushing into that market until uh, you finally push through, um, if that makes sense. Because people will try to box you out of the market. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unassign him from this and just let it sit there for a while. And then, uh, what was I going to say? So yeah, you have to absolutely succeed in that market no matter how fierce the competition is. You can't move on to a different market that's less fierce or competitive. So that's going to be a little tricky, especially with how much of an investment it takes to go into phone operating systems. I was considering starting at a... Uh, 1995 date when phone operating systems become available. I think it's 95. Uh, I'll have to double check that. But um, I've decided to start from the 1980 date. That way I can build up a company using things like development deals and then uh, and, and train the employees and everything, make them more capable of doing such uh, a task. And then when phone operating systems finally do become available and uh, I can spec into them, then uh, it'll happen. Like, you know, I'll, I'll have like a full company behind me. I'll have like savings so that I can actually print the uh, phone operating systems. Because especially under a possible difficulty where you start with, with zero, zero money, you have to take loans and you can't take out enough money to do a phone operating system at that time. Uh, there's no way I could succeed at like a, a 1995 date uh, for for that. If I want to take full advantage of that market, I need to have like a company that's like 15 years old under my belt that has been doing like design deals, have has had training and all of that uh, in order to take full advantage of that. And so that's what that will be going on there. Um, and yeah. So that's a plan, phone operating system only. I have very few rules set for myself for that. I'm not allowed to do phone operating system. I'm not allowed to do anything but phone operating systems on the market. I have decided to allow myself to make 2D, 3D editors, stuff like that in-house. However, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Um, I'm, I'm considering it, and I've, I'm, yeah, I'm considering it. We'll see uh, how the game turns out, if if it's more viable to do those in-house or whether it's more viable to just use the current uh, stuff on the market. We'll see. Um, I'm curious how that's going to be. Um, I, I might do it. In, but yeah, I can't release it onto the market if I make one in-house and uh, I can't profit off of it. And so, yeah, that's the uh, gist of what I'm doing uh, to have uh, uh, full on operating systems only on the market. And I'm curious to see how that'll go. I've already started actually doing a little bit of recording for it, uh, like name the company, the person leading the company. Uh, and I've even made a custom map for it because that isn't outside of the rules. Um, so I, I'm renting from a building that I created. And then uh, from there, I'll probably buy my own property later. But I needed a lot of space in order to, uh, you know, do what I wanted to do. So uh, let's see what we have available. This one's 2015 of February. So only one month. I'm so confused. That's crazy. I'm glad I read that. I've never seen a design deal that only takes one month and expires the next month. 2017, that's a good offer. That's far away. That's a better offer. Now the question is, should I take both? That's 33 months away. Do I think I can handle both? I think I'm going to play it safe and just do the two. I think it's a little risky doing four, but maybe I'll prove myself wrong and I'll be able to do four and then I'll, uh, I'll, uh, know next time around. So yeah, we have, uh, Brain Taylor, I believe it was. Yep. It's been a minute running Brain Incorporated in his brainy mansion. And this mansion is pretty awesome. Not going to lie. I'm pretty happy with how this house came out. I like, uh, I think it's pretty cool. 
I'd be happy living in a house like this. Actually, I take that back. I, I kind of prefer smaller homes. I think even if I did ever land like a ton of money, I wouldn't have a house this big. Uh, just because uh, I don't like walking across like the house to like go to the fridge to get something to eat or stuff like that. And I realize like rich people have like people bring them food and stuff like that or or better like they just have multiple fridges or something like that. It's just I, I couldn't do that. Maybe I shouldn't say I couldn't because who knows what I would do if I got the money to do that. But honestly like I'd rather have like a ton of money and have the stress of like not having to worry about ever losing my small home <laughs> and uh, having a ton of money in the bank so that like I could always like pay off like the home and everything and and uh, pay my bills rather than having a large home and having to make sure that I keep making large amounts of money to maintain it uh, just just feels more comfortable uh, you know financial security and maybe it is because I'm like uh, anyways um, I mean, I'm content living in like the small apartment that I live in, and it's one of those things where, uh, you know, I like I like small, small and comfortable. Ah, I like Dr Pepper. That's what I would do. I'd get lots of Dr Pepper if I was rich. That's one of the things I would do. Anyways. Um, so yeah, that's the phone operating system, uh, series. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I've already messed around a little bit with it, and, uh, I'll make some videos for it. So, my channel's mainly going to be, I think it's going to be early week, uh, Software Inc., and then late part of the week, uh, Civilization 3 Multiplayer with my friend Sly. Uh, if you haven't watched a video with with Sly, um, I'd recommend doing that, or better, just following his Twitch stream, uh, which I have in the link of the, I have linked in the videos that I've done with him, um, a good video to watch, a series to watch, actually, if you want to figure out who he is, is my Napoleon Total War series, that's, uh, like, on the main page of the channel, that's a series I'm pretty happy with, um, it turned out decent, not amazing, but, uh, probably one of the better series on this channel that one um so if you want to watch that and then follow him so that you can uh see him and me live because i i right now i'm streaming uh, i'm not streaming but he is streaming on wednesdays and i am joining the game and playing the game with him on wednesdays and then he, tuesdays and thursdays he's doing his first ever time a first ever full run of mass effect and on the legendary edition so he's on Mass Effect 2 at the time of recording this, which he will still be on Mass Effect 2 by the time I'm uploading, because I'm planning on uploading this shortly after I record it. Um, so he'll be on uh, Ma he's, he'll be on Mass Effect 2, but you can always go back on his YouTube channel or VODs to like watch Mass Effect 1 stuff. And yeah, it's his first experience of Mass Effect. I love Mass Effect as a game series. Uh, you know, I like everyone it kind of met about the ending of mass effect but other than that um the game as an experience from start to finish is amazing it's one of the um it's one of those games that like you know lore wise you're always going to like never forget and stuff like that um it was really fun playing through my first time i remember still and my second time and probably my third time as well. Like, you know, it's very high replayability uh, because the first time you just go through kind of bumbling around not knowing what you're doing. Second time you want to like full complete Paragon. Third time you want a full complete Renegade. Um, and you develop opinions on what characters you like, what characters you want dead on Vermeer, <coughs> Ashley. And uh, yeah, and very, very interesting. And then there's a million YouTube videos about it, about like, oh, if you let this companion die, you could, this companion will live later on, and stuff like that. And uh, very, very fascinating trees of consequence 
in that game. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah. Uh, we got a new design deal. I would accept it if it's 2018. No, it's still 2017. Yeah, I want something later than 2017 just to make sure that I can do these. If it's like late 2018, I'll take a fourth one. Um, or maybe early 2019 would be better. Let me think. What was I thinking? Yeah, Mass Effect is a great series, and it's great to watch someone play it for the first time. Um, he does that on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So yeah, uh, go check out his stuff. If I remember, I'll link it in the bottom of this video, but I'm doubt I'm going to remember because it's going to be a long video and I'm just going to be like, wee at the end of it and upload it. And yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm ready to end the series. Um, not because I don't like this series or don't like how it's gone, but because I'm eager to move on to the next series. I'm probably most eager to upload the video about uh, how to use power efficiently. I, I very intrigued by the results that I came up with. Um, I don't know if there's a video like this already on YouTube. Maybe there is. Maybe I should look it up and see if uh, people have done a video on solar panels and wind power and stuff like that already. But if not, I'm glad to be able to contribute to the software and community in that. Uh, I feel like that's like an actual video that will, will contribute something useful to people. Unlike uh, this video, which is just kind of uh, playing around, goofing off, having fun. Uh, but, you know, it's good to goof off and have fun and stuff like that. And I know people have been watching this series closely. So, again, sorry for not uploading for a while, but, you know, it's a hobby. It's very much like the last thing I do with this channel, not the first thing I do. <laughs> uh, you know, I have all those other things in life that kind of have to come before it. Um, so subscribe if you have it <laughs> so that I can... Uh, do stuff more. Hopefully one day things will be monetized. I don't know. Even if it doesn't get monetized, I'll probably still make videos. Just because I have fun making videos. I think, uh, what should I call it? Uh, I think I found like a, you know, something truly fun to do when it comes to, to that's Total War First Person, by the way. The money it's made, refunds it's had, expenses, yada, yada, yada. Very interesting uh, stats if you want to look it over. I think I've found a fun hobby in YouTube. Um, because, I mean, I've, I've uploaded videos like... Like, I've had the occasional lapse where, like, this one I went, like, a month without uploading videos. But I haven't, like, ever stopped, like, from being burned out. I've enjoyed uploading videos. Like, I had to stop out of necessity because of all the other things going on in life. Um, but I, I've enjoyed the videos, making videos, uh, even if they're just low-quality ones. Um, you know, I just enjoyed putting content out there. And, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Even just getting feedback from people and stuff like that. That's that'd be the only reason why I'd want my audience to grow. Um really, because I like the feedback. Like uh people telling me things I didn't know about games and stuff like that. Oh, so that's pretty cool too. But I mean, no, it's just become a hobby now. Uh uploading videos and and seeing what people think about them and I think I've uploaded like a few hundred videos at this point over the course of the last couple years, which is pretty cool. Um, interestingly, my channel has grown from, I think, like 24 subscribers at the beginning of two years ago to like 380 something right now. I'd probably have to check. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And that just happens from you know, uploading videos like this and uh, people comment, people watch other series. I have a few people that watch every series. That's probably why my subscriber count is like 
higher than like my views per video because like most people only watch like for only subscribe for certain kinds of videos some videos i've never revisited and they've just forgotten to unsubscribe <laughs> like i've never made another total war series after the napoleon i do plan on doing a lot of total war stuff in the future but it's just oh design wheel was canceled oh that was the one i was working on those jerks okay uh, I mean, if it was one of these design deals, I wouldn't be, nah, but let's, let's actually just work on both design deals. I was thinking of just working on one, but I'm thinking if both of we work on both of them and like, if we only work on one of them, like say this one, and then this one gets canceled and we haven't been working on that one, that'll be a waste of time. So I think I'm going to work on both design deals. That's my reasoning there at least. Um... What was I going to say? I forget what lane of thought I was on. There's a dog outside. Uh, now yeah, I think people have like subscribed for things like the Total War series, and I haven't uploaded a lot of Total War since. Um, I do have footage of Total War. Like I have some Shogun 2 footage, multiplayer footage that I want to upload eventually, but I want to edit it and make it like a more uh, viewable experience because it's it's not viewable in the format it is in. So yeah, I have to I have to do that. And then uh, a lot of people subscribe for like the Civ content. A lot of people subscribe for like the Software Inc content. And a lot of people subscribed for like Empire at War, which I haven't revisited in the longest of times. Um, which I do want to visit eventually, revisit eventually, but I want to do it on like a different level of content. Because um, I, I, I did shorts before, like highly edited shorts for Empire at War, like following around like TIE Fighters and and I, I had like a small series called life of a pilot you can find the playlist there where i follow around like a a pilot um until he dies on the battlefield and then i have like a series of like skirmish battles on the shorts and then uh i have one series of just playing for the campaign the campaign series is kind of meh <laughs> i mean it's it's a series that's what i'll say it is it's not like anything outstanding um like i don't pull off some revolutionary tactic or gameplay uh uh tactic that i feel like is is uh is amazing so if i do vi revisit empire at war um i feel like i've already done a lot of the life of a pilot stuff um to the point where i want to do like something different at the same time, I don't want to just do another series. I might do a multiplayer series. That's an idea um, that I've tossed around, but that would require having someone commit a lot of time to do that. And uh, I, I'm already doing other series with Slide, like we're playing Old World now uh, on his stream, and and I might want to upload that one day. And uh, you know, I'd rather I'd rather. Uh, just do what game we're both feeling like doing so that, you know, the content will be good if I am insistent on playing on a game, then he doesn't necessarily, like, feel in the mood to play it, or vice versa. So, since Old World is something we're both, like, really pumped to play, I'm pretty sure that's going to turn out, like, really good content in the future. Um, and there's no point of doing this as a hobby if you aren't enjoying the game that you're playing. So, I want to revisit Empire Total of War, but I want to make sure that I'm playing it with someone who wants to play the game so um yeah eventually i hope to do a multiplayer of that uh multiplayer either multiplayer campaign or multiplayer skirmishes either or um i tried doing a multiplayer campaign once and there were some issues with the game in terms of uh like it was very laggy um not the moving of units laggy, but the build pads would, like, you'd be, like, halfway through the battle before they would allow you to build things on the build pads and stuff like that. It just felt very clunky. And, uh, you know, if it feels very clunky, then it's also going to feel clunky when you upload it to YouTube. And, and uh, that kind of content isn't worth uploading, you know? Um, so I have, like, footage of that, but... Unless I can, uh, 
I mean, we might, it's not even complete. Like we didn't finish conquering the other person. So unless we go back to that and finish conquering the other person, like, which we would probably have to like solve those issues about like the game running clunkily and everything, if we're going to do that, unless we can solve that, I don't want to revisit that game. Um, so yeah. So I have to think of some other kind of amazing content if I want to uh, make that again. And I do want to make Empire War stuff again. Uh, that's Star Wars Empire War. But, you know, we'll see. I also want to do a lot of Total War stuff. I had some ideas for some Total War videos that I don't really necessarily want to get into because I don't want to say it and then people like look forward to it and it never come out because it requires a lot of work. But I really like to do Total War again. Uh, Old World is something we're playing for now, and I'll certainly be uploading at least an edited down version, more of like a highlights uh, or, or a campaign like following, uh, like a post campaign thing, like with Old World or something like that, something edited, no, like just posted like our Civ Free stuff. Uh, Civ Free, I've just been uploading, like I haven't done like much editing at all for the Civ Free. Uh, series there there are a little bit of edits I do but like for like times the game is desynchronized and stuff like that or or uh, or uh, like we, we were dropped from it and I have to edit to the point where we're back in the match and stuff like that um, or edit out small tidbits that uh, shouldn't be in the video things like that but no like hardcore editing with music and stuff like that. Um, those Civ Free's multiplayer series I've just uploaded like as if you were watching it on the stream without the uh, <laughs> watching it as like a live stream or something without uh, without the clunky bits. Uh, let's see what new design deal we have. 2019. That is worth it. Yeah, let's get that. Oh yeah. And we'll unassign it for now. Because we have 43 months on that. So we don't have to worry about that. That's good money. And I'm curious. What's our finances look like? We're making a pretty decent profit. Although a lot of that I'm sure is just from utilities. Yeah, we're making about that much. Um, and we'll talk about why this is inefficient <laughs> when... Uh, when uh, when uh, that video comes out. But it's still making us a lot of money. So you can't complain about money. But yeah, it's a little inefficient. It isn't terribly inefficient. Like, I believe this is going to pay for itself in the end. And uh, make us a little bit of profit if I did my calculations. Uh, actually, I'd have to go back in the footage and see when these were built to know if that happened with that all make us back all the money or not. Um, but I think I built these early enough so that it makes us back the money, if I remember correctly. And it makes us a little profit. Uh, we will start probably losing fans just because we're not making many more of these. Uh, speaking of that, we still have, I think it's this one, 25,000 in stock. Yeah, Space Wars. Yeah, so we're still fine in that regard. Um, do a little more Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed uploading these videos to YouTube. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching them. If not, then uh, let me know how we can change that. Not like I'm going to cater to everything, but <laughs> I am curious. Because I can't cater to anything. I'm limited in what I can do. Uh, it's not like this is a full-time job like it is for some YouTubers. If it was a full-time job for me, I would definitely upload these at a different quality and everything. But right now we're just sailing on by with a nice small little group of watchers who have been enjoying this ride, hopefully. Um, we got our security guards. The security guards weren't ever doing completely what I wanted them to do. 
I mean, like, they're doing it now, but they weren't doing it before Last Shift. This is, like, what I like to see. I like the little security hut, though. It's pretty cool. I like the design of this house. I don't think it's amazing. I don't think it's out of this world. Uh, I actually found some stuff, like, on the... Uh, Steam Workshop, some pretty cool like furniture items, and I'm not going to use them uh, in the next series, um, like the phone operating system series. I want to keep things at least a bit vanilla for now, but I can see a third series after another series after that. Um, I can see another series after uh, after. Uh, the phone operating series where I just go all the way into modding and just get every piece of furniture I could find. I mean, I found like hot tubs and barbecues and and stuff like for like yards. And I was considering downloading it just to spruce up this yard a bit. Uh, like little tables with like umbrellas and stuff. Pretty cool looking mods. But I haven't downloaded a single one. But I might one day. Uh, oh, it looks like this deal was cancelled. See, that was a good thing that I specced into both of them. Uh, or maybe it was actually the other one that uh, went out. So let's see, when is this? 2017. 2017. I'm like a 2018, at least. Uh, there's no level two hardware designer. Uh oh. Which will impede progress. I think that's will make it so that progress can't be done. Can't be done. Period. I'm not sure if we can do that. Probably should have checked that before uh, taking on this deal. Oh well, we'll take more money and run. <laughs> it's not like they're going to take legal action against me or anything. That is one limiting factor. I don't think my guy is able to do legal stuff. And I can't hire a lawyer. That's hilarious. So if we fall into doo-doo for something, we're screwed. That's funny. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I wonder if I can even do it without... I'm pretty sure I don't even have any uh, hardware. I might have one hardware. But I doubt it. I don't think I specced into hardware because I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm doing hardware. Yep. Don't have any design points in hardware. And I hate that it won't ever upgrade my artistry. That's what's so annoying because I have, like, freak brain, so I should be able to throw free points into 3D. That's a bug. I'm, like, 90% sure that's a bug. I think there is a report bug function or something. In fact, if I were to just do this, and then report screenshot, uh, I went, oh, how, how do I type a message? I went... Unless we type something in there. Include a log file. Uh, how do I type a message? Ah, there we go. I went big brain trait and artist specialization on my character but it never let me add my three extra points into 
3D art. Sad face. Uh, I can't even tell if that's a sad face. Wow, those dots are so close together. The art. Even though I have done lots of artsy stuff this run. This has been uploaded to my YouTube channel as a series at Zebulon Productions called the One Employee Challenge. If you want to see the footage of the run. And hopefully that'll mean the developer will subscribe to me. <laughs> you see that marketing right there? Uh, let's send. Uh, actually, let's even give a compliment. Love this game. Ha ha ha. Uploading reports. Yeah. And we have some new design deals to look at. I think it's called the big brain trait. Or something like that. Uh, big brain. Yep. I got that right. And let's see, 2017, 2018. Let's take the 2018. And we're going to unassign from this and assign to this. Actually, we're already assigned to that. Let's just move this up here so we can keep better track of it. And hopefully that'll work. No level two network designer for Battle Arena. It's an MMO, of course it is. Well, we'll see if we're able to finish that one either. I'm curious, does it even show that we've had... It shows we had hardware progress. And network progress. So I guess it still develops. It just makes it slower or doesn't make it so that it goes all the way. We'll see. We'll see what gets done. Almost done with my Dr. Pepper. After I'm finished with my Dr. Pepper, I'll get my water from the fridge. And then I will continue to record until there are no liquid left. No liquids left to drink. Or maybe I'll get another Dr. Pepper, we'll see. But I think I need to drink some water. I don't think I've drank the full amount of water I should drink. Some electronic equipment broke and needs IT support. Why did that break, of all things? Oh, it's those, the extra monitors, because the ITs can't sit at that. I never knew that would happen. That's crazy. Let's delete those, then. Oh, I can't have a triple monitor set up. Lame. Do I have any other monitors that are just sitting around anywhere? Oh. No double or triple monitor setup. How wooed, as Jar Jar would say. Uh, I think I'm going to pause the recording real fast and I'll be right back. There won't be a t uh, any missing time for you, but I am just going to go get my water real fast. So I'll be right back. I'm back. There was no time skip 
there was a little time wasted for you guys, but for me, it was about 10 seconds to walk to the fridge and walk back. Mm. Ah, that's amazing. Let me drink my uh, Dr. Pepper as well. Let's see what we're looking at in terms of in stockedness. Seventeen uh, K. Let's just order another eight thousand copies. Hmm. And go back to full speed. And we'll see how far Battle Arena gets in its development without a uh, level 2 network designer. Hopefully Battle Arena in Space 6 and Mobile Net 3 just go out of, uh, <laughs> out of uh, business. That would be hilarious. Because then we still got the money. Uh, we're sitting at 32 million now. So I don't know. Let's see what that puts us in relation to all companies. Because we have, oh, something we could check is the bonds, too. Is it under finances? No. Stocks? No. I could sell shares of the company. I'm curious, like, how much people would buy of my company. Uh, free to withdraw? No, no, March 2019. I can withdraw it. Okay. And that's 126,000 investment bonds. So if I go to all companies, that'll be reflected in my worth. Uh, so if we go to worth, we are third in line. Now, granted, the people who are ahead of us in line are way ahead of us. Like, way ahead of us. But, well, actually, did this person just shoot up? Oh, wow. That's crazy. Anyways, uh, but no, yeah, our worth is like really good. And a lot of these are new companies too. Let's see, is there anyone, we are officially the oldest company on this list. Everyone else has gone out of business. That's pretty cool. Don't tell me that isn't cool. Yep, 1980. So no other company has, in fact, I could probably sort it by that. Yep, look at that. The next one is 1990. That's insane. Absolutely insane. I could list a huge part of my stock if I wanted and make a ton of money off of that. I wonder if that would boost my worth past the biggest people. I wonder if that's how worth works. If because I get that huge influx of money, like if I put like 40% of my company up, if I can uh, skyrocket my worth above those other two later on. We'll maybe test that in 2019. That could be a fun thing to test. See if I can get my worth above like second on like second or second place on there, or even first place. Curious. Curious, curious. I could always buy stock in another company too and absorb it, but I think that doesn't get me everything. Like, I don't think it gets me there. There. Anyways. Why does it say 25% listed? Oh, no, wait, that's not me. That's some company founded in 2016. I should have 0% listed. Yep, okay. Yeah, I list 40% of my company. They interestingly have 51% of it listed, but I don't think I can purchase the full 51%. Because it's $480,000 worth. I think that's how it works. 2016, too soon. See, I don't know why they have this here. 
when it expires in one month. Maybe it's just to trip me up and be like, Ugh, we got this for you and then you failed right away. Ew, that's weird. Now it's going to be gone next month. It still shows it's there too. But if I go here, it should be gone now. No, it's still there. So I would have to complete it like today, no? That's what it means by expires. It's really weird. Maybe that's a bug too. What's wrong with your face? What's wrong with your game? Let's see. A uh, new design deal. Let's take a look, because we seem to be on top of them for now. January 2017. See, that's next month. I don't want uh, something that expires next month. It's level 2 network, too. It's like, we think you can complete this in this amount of time. I'd rather get a contract at that if uh, I finish these two. We'll see if it comes to that. Crazy stuff. Hmm. Let's see. What else can we do? What else can we do? It's auto saving. Oh no. It just stops because uh, I had clicked off of the screen. <laughs> that was amazing. Big brain moment. And yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I think I had other things I wanted to say, but I forget what they are. Let me take another sip of Dr. Pepper, my last sip. This is a cherry Dr. Pepper, by the way. Mm. My favorite one is the cream Dr. Pepper. Although, sometimes I just have to drink the original. Mm. Just because I get that itch for the original taste. No, oh, I haven't eaten any Oreos yet, but I'm not hungry. I did have some pizza before starting, so I might not eat any Oreos during this. Uh, we have four new design deals available. Amazing. So, 2020, that looks good. 2021, that looks better. 2020 again. Uh, network any level. So that's something that's out of our scope, but we still be able seem to be able to do it, honestly. Is it still being worked on, Network? Or is he idling? Let's take him anyways. Screw it. So 2020. Actually, this one is... Yeah, let's do stuff we can't do. 2020 is 36 months away. Should we do this? Yeah, let's go nuts. Let's go crazy. Let's unassign all of these. It's 57, 45. Look at that. That's enough work to do till the end of the game. I've already spooked my game. <laughs> Look at that. So let's just close these for now. We don't even have to think about these. Not until these two are done. If they can get done. Let's see if I go there and I work or if I just sit there and do nothing. 
Because if I'm sitting there doing nothing, then that could be a problem because that's a big chunk of this thing that's not been finished. But, I mean, they're just going to have to live with it. <laughs> they're just going to be an MMO without, uh, without multiplayer. Without network features. It'll be like No Man's Sky. They'll just have to sticker over the online play key. Is it being worked on? Because it says it's working. But is that only on this? Oh, yeah, I think he's not even working on the... Uh, like, if I was to unassign him from this, I think he'd be idled. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, well. Well. Let's pretend like that's not an issue. <laughs> uh, oh, well. So there's a limitation of the one employee run that we haven't run into yet. That's funny. I'm not even, like, sad about that. Oh, I think he can't do any more on this one either. Hold on. Let's see if he idles on this one, too. I think he has to go home now, actually. Yep. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, well, let's just hope they go out of business. Sometimes those problems solve themselves. You never know. So let's only sign from those. And we have these three amazing things to work on that I don't think we'll be able to finish. Network. Network. And network. Amazing. I love networking. Oh, we don't have a level 2 3D designer either. And we have no level 2 network designer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's just hope those things go out of business. This could be like amazingly clutch with those guys running out of business, or it could be horrible. One second. Okay, I just have to check something. <laughs> go out of business. What companies are they? Uh, does it say what company is on here? Uh, deadline... But you know what? It's Battle Arena and Space 6. So I should be able to see what company it is by... Uh, I think... They're designing those camps because they bought out. See, I don't want that one to go out. That one I finished. I want these ones to go out. <laughs> uh, so Battle Arena and Space 6. Let's see... Let's see who runs Battle Arena. Uh, so if we go to all products, all software, there should be a battle arena on here, no? Battle Arena Space 4 is owned by True Light Inc. If we go to all companies and we go to True Light, they're doing okay. 1990. They have a 34 products. They're listed at 100%, so they could get bought out. They could get bought out. Just saying. Someone should buy them. I might buy them. I could buy them. So if push comes to shove, if there is no way I can complete this, I can buy them. That might be the way to go. Just saying. But, we also have MobileNet 3. If we go to all software, just throw money at the problem. That's the way to do it. Looking for mobile net. There we go. Flace Inc. A hundred percent listed. We could buy them. <laughs> well, they fall within our price range, just barely, I think. <laughs> okay, I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, Space Manor Ultra 2, Graveslam. I don't think I've finished a single design deal either. 
or maybe I have. Maybe I finished like one. I think I've been unlucky in that regard. But in this case, if those two don't get completed, I'll be lucky. Um, what's the date of that one? 19 months and 29 months. Okay, let's keep this one open for now. And let's just close these. So I don't look at them. And let's just put a 2 on this. Just to make sure we deal with that before we deal with these. I wonder if he's going to get tired faster. Let's make sure he doesn't run out of energy before the end of the day. Looks like we're safe. If we do have another design deal on the table, we could be very, very risky. Uh, who's this by? Ale Shop. Let's see how likely they are to be bought out. <laughs> I don't actually have to complete it. I can just... Oh, but they're only 5.8% listed. Mm. That's... Uh, riskier business. 3D Eddie level. Do I have 3D? Level 2 hardware. I don't have level 2 network. So this is something I definitely wouldn't be able to finish. I would really be banking on them being bought out and they only have 0.5% listed. I think I have to say no to that one as good as that money sounds. And that's good money too. Man, this is amazing. If it would be even more amazing if uh yeah, these guys went out of business. Were they canceled? No, that was last month. Uh, I don't care. You know, you don't have to tell me about these. These aren't issues. They're hurdles to overcome. Nothing can't be overcome with money. As Seto Kaiba says, screw the rules. I have money. Brain Taylor is a businessman. I love how like he spent his like early years like doing innovative products and now he's spending his later years basically scamming companies out of money by saying the thing that he's gonna do something, not doing it, and waiting for the company to go out of business so there's like no consequence to it. <laughs> This is the real big brain move. Brain Taylor knows how to make his money, maintain his rent, uh, maintain his mansion and stuff. Um, he's he's fighting back against the big boys, the big companies. This is some Robin Hood stuff right now. Uh, can't keep up with support. Uh oh. Let's next month just make this a level five. That I don't like to see. Uh, what are we looking at in terms of stock? So plenty. And this is making the amount of like two design deals. I'm surprised so many bugs are coming up so quick. Maybe something we should do is just unassign for a bit. After all, we have plenty of time. And maybe we should first just deal with all of these. Oh, it's because it's unassigned. It's unassigned. I forgot. Oh, snap. I'm so sorry. Have you guys been getting those ads, by the way, for, like, mobile games? And they start off with... I've seen two different ads do this now. They start off with saying, I am sorry. We launched not enough servers at our lunch, and there was too many players. So we will give you uh, free stuff for joining now because of the delay and it's like the stupidest ad ever it's like either robot text-to-speech or like robotic acting 
um, like one of them was like a text to speech ad, and then the other one was just like a guy who may as well have been text to speech. Like he was just like speaking in such a robotic manner, like he had like a gun put like to the back of his head or something. Like those ads were just so weird. I, I assume I'm getting those ads because I watch gameplay stuff and it's like some kind of targeted advertisement. <laughs> but the only mobile game I play is Duel Links. Um, like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And I haven't touched that in like almost a month. Um, just because I haven't had much reason to play it recently. Because I've been absorbed in other games. Like, okay, well, something I'm going to do right now is update. Let's go all out with this update. Just make it top level graphics. Top level everything. And we're also going to work on bugs and just make this the best update ever. No one has gonna seen an overall to a old game like this before. This will be amazing. And we're gonna put like 5,000 into marketing next month or this month to make up for that lack of marketing. We are sorry that we did not maintain our game here is free update for all of you. And then we'll just run a million YouTube ads and get people to buy the game again. I've considered like messing around with Google ads. Like you could get like for like a couple hundred bucks, you could just have like some really weird message, like play to like some random people out there. It's pretty funny. Like the idea that you could do that. Um, I mean, I don't have the money to throw around to do that, but it just seems hilarious. Oh, someone went out of business. That was the Flace one. That was the one that I couldn't complete over here. My plan is working. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, and that, this company is also listed at 100%. I wonder, so if I go to uh, the company... What was it? This one's now 56% listed. I could have, I should have uh, taken that deal. Wow. I assumed since it was such a new company, they wouldn't like go out like that. Where's the one that was 100% listed? I guess it's no longer listed for 100%. Oh no, here it is, here it is. Triuli Inc. Yeah, those are the only ones that are listed at 100% right now. That's insane. Does it show how much of it's been bought off here? Chart. I don't know. That's their business chart. Actually, I'm curious. Hmm. That's interesting. What's higher? Okay. What is their record as a company? Interesting. Their sales have never been that amazing. Yet their balance just shot up here. They used to be pretty big boys. Look at that, 500,000. Flace Inc. was canceled, yeah, don't give me hope. Oh, didn't they just lose a ton of worth there? Ooh, they might get bought out soon. They're dipping. I think they just dipped. Could be wrong. And then these guys just shot up in value, so they're only 48% now. Oh, snap. Let's see what we got. Yes, studios. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Shark One Digital. That's one we can actually do. Sure. I'd like to do something that I can actually do as well. That's no risk at all. 31 months. Let's put this 31 months here. Like above that 31 months. Because that's something I can actually do. That's insane. 
put it back to one just so we can work on the update a bit uh, crazy I can't believe I missed so many tickets at like the end of that just because I had them unassigned. This has been a crazy run. Not gonna lie. I've had a lot of fun this series. I hope you guys appreciate this extra long episode. I, I, I'm sorry if you guys don't. Like, if this is, like, too long for you, because, uh, because, uh, you don't have the time to sit down and watch something like this, and you don't like revisiting videos later and stuff like that, I'm sorry if this is not the format for you. Uh, but I, I did feel kind of meh about the fact that I haven't been able to upload episodes for this, and I decided that this would be the best way to sort of finish off this series, and bring everything up today and I just wanted to sit down for an extra long recording session and just speak my mind for a while it feels good to speak my mind and play a game this long after I haven't been able to do for so do so for so long and, and I get a lot out of uploading stuff on YouTube um, as a hobby so I appreciate you guys for sitting through long videos like this. Triolite Ink is dropping in value, but actually they just went up. I'm confused. Like their bank went up to what their worth was now? When it was lower? Hold on, let's just look at their chart. Yeah, their balance was 71k, now it's 91k. They just got a lot of money in stocks, I guess. <coughs> Bless me. So I guess they're fluctuating a lot because of stocks? Or did they buy back their company? Oh, no, they must have sold some of their company? I don't know. That's confusing. Uh, it's very confusing. <laughs> Should we invest something in the stocks? Buy low, sell high. That's what Homer Simpson says, right? <clears throat> That's how you win the stock market, right boys? Buy low, sell high. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> if you haven't seen that Simpsons episode, uh, everything earlier Simpsons is amazing. I know people, I'm just echoing people's, what people say on that, but it's true. Um, it's solid, it's true. I got to watch rewatch a lot of The Simpsons recently because for a few months there, a friend of mine had a Disney Plus. They don't have it now, but yeah, I I watched a ton of their episodes in the first like seven or eight seasons. And man, that that felt nostalgic. That felt like that felt like when you walk out of your room. And you see your parents sitting there with like an episode of The Simpsons on, and you go and sit down on the couch next to them and, and watch it with them. And you only get like half of the jokes because you're like eight or nine years old or something like that. That That's what it felt like. Because that's what would happen. Like, I would like leave my room and then sit in the couch with my family who was already like sitting there watching like 
the stuff that was going on at the time and yeah Simpsons is nostalgic to me because of that mostly oh well, but also because it's it's one of those things that's memorable like I I still like people like uh, Dr. Nick and uh, and uh, the lawyer whose name I'm totally blanking out on and the other act the other uh, celebrity that's played by the same voice actor as the lawyer. Lionel Hutz is the lawyer. There we go. And uh, Troy McClure. That's the that's the guy. And uh, Homer himself, Bart, Lisa, Marge, uh, Marge's sisters, whose names I'm blinking out on. Like all those people are just so memorable. And even just side characters, like that one dude that uh, shows up for one episode and uh, who's like the unluckiest person in comparison to Homer's luckiness. <laughs> and then he ends up electrocuting himself. Stuff like that. And that was awesome. Uh, 2019, Level 2 Network, Told Interactive. Let's see, let's see if they're about to go underwater. Let's, let's milk the, the companies. No, only 2.1% listed. They're a recently founded company. Let's skip over them. We'll let them be. Uh, today we'll finish this update. And hopefully that should free us up for other projects. Let's go ahead and start working on this because I'm pretty sure I can actually complete this one. And let's just spec into one other thing right now. Uh-oh, we're getting close. Now, one one option, I'm pretty sure, is to buy up this company. Although, I might have to have more business reputation to do that. In fact, I think that is the case. I think I can't do it with the business reputation I'm at. They've actually went up in value above me. But it might be, it might be because people have been buying their stocks. Maybe. Now, so I don't know, like, if, if stocks going down means they have bought their own stocks. Or people are buying their stocks. I assume it's them buying their own stocks because their balance has gone down when they did that. Or it might be them investing in these stocks and in investments. Actually, it might be this. It might be them losing money on this. I'm not 100% sure how that works. Because then how would I how would I determine using this, how much of them have been bought up? Ah, here we go. Now, try light ink. So I could buy them from these guys, but they only sell 16.9%. Try to... Oh, no, it's marked down 69% their value. Ah, okay, I can see. I, I can buy... So will let me buy their all their shares or just a part of it? Because I, I think I could buy them out then. If I just bought from both of these. Oh no, they just sold to like a ton of people now? I'm confused. Did they just go out of business? No. I'm confused how that works. Try Light Inc. just... Did they go up in value after that? I think they're worth more than me now, which would not be good. Yeah, they're worth slightly more than me. Which means I can't buy them. You know? 
So I guess no one can take them over because someone sold a ton of their stock. And no one holds enough majority stock to do that. Or maybe now they will be bought out because these guys will want to buy up the stock. The ones who have the majority. Where is it? Shotware Digital. So yeah, Shotware Digital doesn't look like they have any of the stock listed. But it looks like Lusoft just sold a ton of their stock. So maybe Shotware now will try to buy up all these and take over the company. Oh no, it looks like they're selling it at a 25% less rate. I'm trying to understand what this is. And then these guys are upselling it for 13.4%. Which means if all these companies are selling it at that price, then I wouldn't be able to buy it. So I could have tried to buy this guy's share when it was lower. Or no, is it? I'm confused. So they must have bought from Losoft, and the little up arrow means that they were selling it at a lower rate. Because they bought it all from Losoft, not Shapeware. Oh, Shapeware. Did Shapeware buy them out? No, but it says they own 100% of it now. So will they close them down? Please close them down. Please seize their company. Please, like make it so that that company goes away that would be hilarious if not can i buy it all 100 percent i could just save the game and then try to buy it it looks like they have it a sale for eight thousand but i'm is that all the stock for the whole thing And then if I do that, then I'm off the hook for this. I'm tempted to save the game and see what would happen if I just bought the whole thing. All companies. They seem to be in higher in value. But shouldn't they just be absorbed into the company now? Because... Oh, no, wait, that's not the whole thing. No, Triolite's much slower now. Oh, I think I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah, they're lower in value. So I could I could buy them. I think. If all of it's for sale. So will they disappear next month? Or will they be sold into pieces again? Interesting. So now their value went up? So should I have bought it last month? Because now they sold to a ton of other people? Or no, I think the same amount of shares kept stayed there, but then a ton of new shares were created because the company went up in value. Interesting. And then people bought those new shares. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have bought last time. I'm confused, because now it looks like the company is worth a lot more than value, or is it just more people listing their shares? All companies, no, they've gone up in huge value. Did they just have a release or something? No, you must seize the company Shadeware Digital. It is your company for the taking. Do it. Shadeware. Is Shadeware a strong enough company to do that? No, they're way down here. They're more likely to go out of business. Look at that. 96%. Who owns you? Pigger Interactive. Man, this is such a strange chain of uh, shares. I think I may have lost my chance. Because I don't understand, like, should I have bought them then? Let's see if their worth goes up next time. Or if it's just some weird inflation of craziness. Because did they just release a new product or something? No, they just went down 200, 250000 now. 
Allen's LTD has the majority of shares now. So what happened? That's still unavoidable, but like what has come out for them? Uh, is there like a date of release? There's no way to sort by date of release. Speaking of products, do I have enough to keep selling Space Wars? In stock 10,000, fine for a couple more months. Uh, they've gone down in value a bit. They bought three companies apparently. Maybe it's something that happened with another company and they're just running that company. I'm so confused about how this works. Just go out of business already. Just just do it. Do it. You disappear. Or at least fall below enough in value so that maybe I can buy you next time around. I'm so confused. So when I was down of 80,000, could I have bought the company and then made it disappear? These are all questions that there are no answers to. See, it's losing like 35K a month now. You think someone would just seize the company? It's 2019, 3D any level, no, level two. It's 3D editor, level two 3D. I think I don't have that. It's a 2020 though. So I could hope they go out of business. <laughs> That's banking on a lot. Let's not take any more. I feel like we could get into legal duty with some of those. I'll keep an eye out for one that I actually think is possible to do. Now it's between these two guys again. Let's see what happens. I'm confused. Bam. So marketing is done for today. I mean, we could assign ourselves to this and hope something happens, but I doubt it. I don't think this is going to move at all. I doubt I can. Yeah, it's only letting me educate in leadership. I should have made it so that I have big brain to design. Uh, that's what I'm going to do in my next one for software. Make me like a super designer. That big brains it. Max it out. Be the greatest designer of all time. Hmm. Allen seems to be taken over. Very little value of the company was lost this time around. I feel like at the very least I'm going to take a uh, hidden reputation. Which is fixable through contracts, so that would not be an issue. And I still wouldn't lose the other development deals, so I'd be able to hold on to those. The issue is if they might take legal action or not, which I don't know. We will have to see. I mean, we did complete everything except for the network thing. It can just be No Man's Sky, or at least No Man's Sky on its release <laughs> without network features. Battle Arena and Space Six. Come on. Who needs people in the arena? They could just, uh, I mean, you, it doesn't suck when you die in Battle Arena. So if there's no people, 
no one can kill you. I feel like I missed my opportunity to buy the company, but I don't understand this game enough to know if I actually did miss my opportunity or if I just thought I had an opportunity and it was not true. Probably should have saved and tried it at the time just to see what would happen. But I'm more curious to let you guys tell me in the comments. Uh, I will visit the comments of this video. I'll remember this. Uh, another 10,000, 9,000 ish. Oh no, that was 9 million. My bad. 9 million lost in worth. But these guys just lose worth all the time. Uh, I wonder if we're going to get into the first bit of legal trouble in this game that we've had. I'm curious to see that. It'd be hilarious if this company goes out of business after I give it to them so that they can't push any legal action. It's interesting. One thing they do have is this person's 91% inspiring who leads the company. At least I think that's it, or maybe it's just a, it just says lead designer. So I don't know if that's the actual CEO of the company like us, or if that's just the lead designer on a lot of their projects or what. Uh, it's interesting to put it there, but I think that's their lead designer, a lead uh, their CEO or founder or whatever. Hmm. Come on. You got two months to go out of business. If you don't do it, then you're mean. Uh, maybe I'll just put him on all three of these again. One month. You can do this. Send slightly up in value. See, now it's out of my price range. Their worth is way more than it was before. I'd love to see their worth drop off. That'd be hilarious. Now, how big of a company is Allen's LTD? Your all companies. That's the biggest company. So they could just straight up buy them out. They have 169,000, 169 million in their bank. So why not? Finances. If we were to lose a legal case against them, I wonder how much money they would take from us. I mean, I just have to let them take it, no? wonder if my guy can attempt to do legal stuff <laughs> if his he can make case even though he's not a lawyer that'd be hilarious if that was the case bonds I think we might be safe though in the sense that it might just give us a hit to business reputation but you know, we've done a lot of experimenting this run, so we'll just call this an experiment. Let's do something like breach of contract, illegal, and uh, let's see if they take us to court. Uh, they seem to be going down in value, but no one seems to be taking them over. So let's develop it, see what happens. Let's see. It looks like I'm curious to see how much of this gets completed. Network on this is going pretty far. Might be because their network is requirements are lower, but I think our their three D requirements are going to be too high for this one for me. We'll see though. This one is Space Manager Ultra Two. So if we look at that and I'll be under first we want to look under all software 
space manager. That's Lusoft LTD. If we go to all companies, they're not leaving anytime soon. 74% listed, but they're very high value. Allen's actually owns a lot of them. That's hilarious. Allen's like, is like running everything. If they uh, buy them, then we'll be forwarded up on the leaderboard. <laughs> but I'm not hopeful that that's going to happen. That's an expensive buy for them. Uh, I guess no legal trouble for that. In fact, I didn't even lose business reputation. That's strange. What was the message there? Did it say something like satisfactory quality? I've gotten in trouble like for like not fully completing development deals before. That's like even with them almost completely completed. Like people get like pissed off. Like you still have like you don't ever get into legal trouble for it, but like you lose a ton of business reputation. So I was expecting to lose a ton of business reputation there. It's interesting. Did I just get away with that? Uh, all companies. Yeah, I just guess they just let me get away with it. Nice. Scamming for the win. Cool. Now, should I start listing my company? <laughs> Interesting. So we could sell like 40-ish percent, no? Like sell slightly under halfway, get like, is that only a million dollars? Oh no, you have to sell them in like things of like 1.4% shares, but can you list like multiple of them? Or do you have to do it like 1.4% shares at a time and do it slowly over time? Interesting. So like I guess one point four percent of my worth is two and a half million. Interesting. I only have two IPs now. I could sell my IP. I wonder what you're worth. Five hundred and ninety two thousand for Allen's L T D. Maybe I'll do that. What about this one? 14k <laughs> no medal of dishonor but you you did so well i think yeah thirty-four thousand in profit why only 14k yeah i think it'll just go into public domain anyways i don't think it's worth it to sell it for that Five hundred thousand though for no more responsibilities here well i'm still making money off of it But I'm sure it's going to go down in value too if I wait another month. So let's wait one more month and see how far in value it goes down. Where if it goes down in value at all, because if it doesn't, if it isn't going down in value, then I might hold on to it a little while for longer. But if it went down in value by like 50k or something like that, ridiculous, then. Might hold on to it. Might sell it. Because it means it's losing. No, it's still 598. Do I want to sell it though? Yes, Studios. That's someone else. So if I look at Yes, Studios, I'd rather sell it to a smaller company than a larger company. 
Because that's my main competition. Yes, Studios is down here. Let's throw him a bone. You want to buy my IP? Yes, Studios. I don't remember how much I spent for this IP, but it's not an original IP. So you know what? I mean, I'm a little bit attached to it, but not nearly enough to cry about this. And I think we just made a little more money by waiting a month anyway. So let's sell IP. Bam. That's gone. Uh, do we have any amazing deals? 2020, 2019, 2020. Ooh, that's new while we were looking at it. 2021. Ooh, I think we can take that one safely. 26, 21. So let's put it up here. So it's 26. Okay. Money. So we'll get a little spike in income this month. I think our monthly profits are 500,000 ish, anyways. So, oh no, 450,000 ish. So we'll make a million this month instead of 450,000 ish. And bam. I said bam. I said bam. I said, bam. Bam. Yep, a million. Look at that. So, yeah, that's design deals. Uh, am I making any money off of royalties? I doubt it. I'll be surprised if I am. Royalties minus 10k. <laughs> no! <laughs> I guess I'm getting negative in royalties. I didn't think that was a thing. So I never outsourced anything. Maybe it just goes to my guy directly and not into this company bank account. That's interesting. And confusing. But okay. Why not? Why not? What's going on here? Oh, that's the IT guy. I thought that was brain trailer. That he was slacking off. But no. Brain Taylor is faithful to his work. He comes in, he clocks in at, uh, he clocks in at, uh, nope, I'm not looking for hires. He clocks in at 8 and leaves at 16, nope, he clocks in at 6 and leaves at 20. That's when he goes in and out. So, uh, yeah. It's a pretty radical guy. Works a very long schedule. We'll see him coming now. Hello, I'm Brain Taylor. I am working away. Now I'm working away all day. What an amazing dude. Don't you wish you had the energy of Brain Taylor? Uh, I think I am just about there with Bonds. Yeah, I can I can take him out now. So let's withdraw. And yeah, look at that. And let's start messing with stocks, not those. My bad. I want to sell some shares. See what happens. So let's publicly list that. I guess we're, we can't publicly list anymore. And that's 25,000 shares out of like 1.8 million. So did I just get that money directly? I wasn't paying an 
enough attention to see if I got that money directly or what happened there. Uh, let's go back to monthly. Oh, yeah. I just got like 2.5 million. So is that like something I can do every month till the end of the game now? Until I like get to something like 40% of the company? Because if so, that's pretty, that's pretty based. I'm not going to lie. We can like make a ton of money this way as long as like we keep it like a healthy like 40 60 percent like so we're still holding on to like 60 percent of the company that's pretty nice uh let's see so can i sell again now that's the next day no no one wants to buy my stocks? Come on. Buy my stocks. Buy my stocks. No interest. What? Buy my stocks. I want to buy my stocks. You can make some money. Just buy my stocks. Maybe they have to generate more value over time for people to get more interested in buying my stocks. What if I bought my stocks back at a higher rate to inflate the value of my company? So I guess it shows now at a higher worth than it's actually and it's actually listed because of that. I guess it inflates the value with the fact that people are holding on to stocks of it. So that's like 1.4% of the company. So does that mean they get like 1.4% of my profits? Or is that not how it works? They just have it. So let's see. Dividends minus 700. Is that it? Minus 628. And I made less. I'm confused. Why did I make less? Oh, people lost their uh, deals. Try Lay Inc. Okay. How terrible that they would go out of business. Wait, Trial Inc. was like one of the top dogs, no? Yo, am I worth more now? Where's my worth? Yeah, Trial Inc. was like hovering around for a while. Right? Or am I wrong? Could be wrong. $180,000 worth. That's interesting. Details. Oh, let me sell again. That's lame. Maybe I had to have been selling like over time in order to do that. Or show more return on the investment for me to sell more or list more. I don't know how this works. All I know is I got $2.5 million. Who can argue with that? Uh, maybe if I make some big moves on design deals in the future. I'm tempted to just hire. So let's go to... There's no reason not to. It's not like I don't have the money to. Uh, let's get a another receptionist. And make her hours like... 13 to 17 so that we get more deals in I think that's how it works I hope that's how it works <laughs> now is this capped at like this level of 3D it might be this one I'm pretty sure I can do a ton of. This one doesn't seem to be progressing much at all. And it's got a lot of network and 3D, so I understand why. 
Lion Shade OS. I feel like that's been a, around a while, this game. If I go to all software, I find Lion Shade OS. I'm still looking for it. Yeah, Lion Shade OS 2. That was in 2004. That's owned by Chateware Digital. Weren't they the ones, like, buying that one company? So it should be... They're pretty far down. And they're 94% listed. I think I can buy them. Is that really 94% of their shares? So do I have to own 100% to seize the company? I think what I'll do, just to be safe, is I'll save the game here on like a separate save file, but then I won't like mess with it till after we're recording and just see what it does. One second. Okay, so I saved the game. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it uh, like after this recording session. Because I don't want to like do like save scummy things and stuff like that. Hmm. I just paused the recording for a second so it was seamless for you guys, hopefully. Uh, yeah, try light's gone. Uh, so I'm getting another design deal. July of 2019. See, why is that like right away? It's like, oh, we want you to complete that in one day. Nope. And that's not going to happen. I'm curious. I might just assign myself to this for a little while. I don't seem to be making much progress on the other stuff anyways. We'll see what that means for us. Let's go nuts. Now, can I sell more stock? I like selling stuff for money. Nope. Now, if I wanted to buy it back, I'd actually have to buy it back at a slightly higher cost because the value has gone up since I sold it, it looks like. So that must be what the arrow means, like how much value they've lost or how much value they've gained since they bought the stock. In which case, they were lost like 40% money from doing that, which is crazy. February 2021, network, 3D, any level. I don't even have those. Network, 2D, any level. So that one's Allen's. I don't want to piss him off. But these guys, it's 2023, and I don't even know who they are. And did they just run out of business as soon as I get them? No, never mind. That's 50 months. Uh, did I get a message saying I can't do this? Uh, gun rebirth, finish procedural generation. Yeah, whatever. Hopefully they'll just go out of business. Yeah, shade word's been dropping. Ooh, I'm so tempted to try it. Uh, let me pause this one second. Ooh. I had to think about it. Do I want to drop that much money? So is this really 94% of the company? I might perform my only save scum. 
Actually, let's do this. Ah, uh, Brudgy X. That was weird that it popped up with that. Okay. That's because there was an update for Opera GX. Let's look up Software Inc. Buying Company. Buy all the stocks? Need a reputation to do so. So is it literally all the stocks, not just 94%? Like they have to be 100% listed? I am looking this up online right now, by the way. Buying all their shares. I think it's they're saying in like the forms of you have to buy the whole thing. Software Inc. buying company majority or all shares? There's a YouTube video about it, but I can't watch a YouTube video in the middle of my YouTube video. Uh. I'm gonna save scum. One second, let me pause the recording. Just cause I'm gonna test it out afterwards anyways. So I may as well test it out with you guys. Okay, I've saved the game now. Let's do this as a test. Just because I don't know what it's gonna do. And then I'll reload the game, whether it's successful in taking over their company or not. Oh, you can do a takeover for 36 million. Now, if I do a takeover, then I just take it over or lose a ton of money, which means I lose value, I guess. I do have an amazing amount of, oh no, it's not mine. Oh no, look at that. Your releases. I could probably sell like all of these for amazing money. Uh, but has my company gone down in value now? Yeah, Brain Inc. is way down here now. I'm pretty sure all the shareholders are like super upset. I go to finances and uh, I will reload the game before that takeover, though, because uh, even though it's hilarious, oh yeah, 39% loss, so I can buy it back at 1.5 million now. That's hilarious. Uh, they'd be willing to sell you back a share of 100 per share for a total of. No, I want to sell buy it back at. Uh, one and a half million. You won't let me do that? Aw, oh, that's funny. I can buy, sell those shares, but it's at a very deflated value because I just did something crazy. So if I were to just go to your releases, I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun and then I'm gonna reload the game. Trade IP, 13 bucks. Trade IP, 1,000 bucks. Trade IP, 8,000 bucks. Trade IP, 1,000 bucks. Trade IP, trade IP, 104,000. Trade IP, 3 million. Trade IP, no one's even interested in buying that. It's hilarious. 400,000. 27 bucks. So there's no way I'm making all that money back. 
still it I believe it cancels out that one thing yeah it cancels out the design deal so if you're ever in hot water for like a deal that you're making like you, you like can't complete it at all you can literally buy your way out of it but it isn't worth it in terms of uh, value probably you probably save more money by just riding the storm yeah look at all those IPs that they had that's hilarious that's crazy and this one nobody's interested in buying that's a 2016 release six in stock past month three million dollars so why is no one willing to uh buy it i mean i can't do that because it's like hardware probably i need to build a garage and stuff to do that anyways i'm gonna pause the recording and real so i'm back where we were and yeah so I would have done that test after the recording anyways, bought it, see what happens and everything. So I didn't feel bad about just doing it and then reloading it now. Uh, what it, it's not even really a save scum since I intentioned to do that and um, like reload it and I would have done it anyways. So there you go. That's what happens. You only need a majority of shares and then you could do a takeover and then make them a subsidiary or not. Uh, I had known you can make people subsidiaries and I've considered it like developing my own stuff and then passing it those IPs on to my subsidiaries um I considered doing that as a way of making my own IP but meh, meh. you see there's so much you can't control about the company they could literally be like siphoning money from you because they're going out of business if that happens and uh because they're mismanaging the company and everything because you're not the one managing the company so you can't make sure it's not mismanaged uh let's see are they gonna let me sell stocks again anyways nope no one is letting me sell stocks now if i was to try to buy it back oh no i didn't want to do that no did i lose money doing that i must have I go to my finances. I'll probably reload the autosave. Yeah, two. I lost nineteen thousand. No, nineteen thousand. It's not even enough to worry about. Chump change. Let's sell it again. Keep investing, boys. I didn't know it would just buy it because last time I pressed buy it, it like, whatchamacallit, prompted me like, we want to sell it to you for this amount. So I thought it was going to give me a message again, but apparently it didn't. Oh, well. So these are the guys, Space Manager Ultra. If I wanted to buy that company and make sure I didn't have any consequences, I could do that with shape where if I wanted to actually did they just jump up and work no the opposite in fact brain ink is up here in worth and yeah pretty cool stuff but only 1.4 percent listed I could be much higher if I could just sell myself more shape where it's just gone up again Look at that. Look at that. Big money. Big gains. Big, uh, big investments. Where's, where's the stonks at again? Look at that. So, amazing stuff i could have put the money back into bonds when i was finished with that but i decided i didn't want to i like seeing all the money here 
and I think you'd only make so much of football bonds anyways in this short amount of time. What's the interest on these bonds again? I was to just put like five dollars in there. Accrued interest zero percent. So, but it, it does it tell you how much your total interest is going to be? Why is it withdraw thirty seven? Oh, did I just get thirty seven dollars after only investing five? I don't know what I just did there. I wonder if that's a glitch or if I really didn't get $37 back. Hold on. I think I may have discovered a way to make infinite money. I think the thing is so such a small amount, it's not even reflected on here. Is there bonds? Bonds. Bonds, bonds, bonds. October. Ah, uh, no, no, I guess I had some money in there already, like 30 something dollars, because I was getting like some ridiculously small amount in interest, maybe? I don't know what happened there. That's crazy. I don't know what's going on anymore. Probably time to end the recording soon, because of that. <laughs> um... But I do want to see what's going to happen with these two, at least. Maybe this one, too. We'll see how far we can take things. Let's see. 2022. Uh, level 1. Free level network. Any level. Why not? Just go for it. I don't seem to be facing any kind of consequences any ways for anything. So let's see what the space camp that company comes from. Uh, space camp. It sounds like a pretty fun idea. Just going to like summer camp, but it's in space. Did they not have a previous version? Because it says 2015, so I assumed there was, like, this was not an original game. Is Space Camp 2015 literally then, like, you going in a spaceship in 2015 into space? A 2015 level spaceship, like, technology? Because if so, that's kind of lame. You'd want to go to, like, space in a video game in, like, something that's, like, amazing like super fast like Star Wars style so they've taken over Space Wars they're apparently putting unavoidable marketing into it and I wonder how much copies they're selling because of it doesn't look like a lot I mean there was a small spike after they got it but then they're back down to that I wonder if they will sell a sequel to it. Looks like they did maybe port it, because now the consumer reach is a little wider. But I I was the one that profited it from a majority. The expenses though was pretty pretty hefty. I'm not gonna lie. Mostly because I had to buy the IP from someone. Interesting. Very interesting. I am curious where that goes. If there will be a Space Wars 2 or not. Maybe someone will ask for a design deal for Space Wars 2, that would be hilarious. Uh, we're making good money though. And I'm sure our stockholders are probably happy about that. Uh, 0.5, yeah, that guys are fine. 
I guess. It's giving them like 600 something dollars in dividends, but we sold like 2.5 million, so that's good. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to end it after a few more months. I don't see what else we'll be doing besides design deals. I probably want to look at some of the graphs, the money we've made over the years. Um, let's do that now, actually. So let's look at the finances first. Um, I don't think you can look over utilities over a long enough period of time. Let's go to stats. First, let's just do this. So you can see early on we did contracts. After that, we did some of our own releases over the course of those times. So April and let's do, let's just do it one at a time. So let's look at products released. This one is February 1983, 1985, then we went quite a long time without a product, then 1990, 1993, 1996, 2001, 2005, and in 2012. Look, took a quite a while to develop it. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products of our own. Uh, we did a ton of contracts at the beginning, then we did a few more, I think, to get to the design deal level of uh, three stars. So we could do that. So for when the matter, successful burglaries against us twice. Forded burglaries, six. So whatever about that. Here is a lot of more of the juicy stuff. Uh, I have to keep an eye over here because next month flows have to be completed. Uh, balance. We'll, we'll look at that on its own. Uh, so let's do this. So we started off with barely anything. Uh, for our first release we got up to a few million that was the operating system I believe uh, we snaked our way our releases were kind of meh I think it looks like until 1990 there was a little bit of a spike then we got a bigger spike here a bigger spike here 1997 and then this is where like in 2000 we went from like 27 million to 77 then we steadily went up look at that a lot of that's just from having the windmills, I think, or doing design deals in the latter half. Uh, let's release these. Uh, I wonder if I can just like focus this down today. So let's develop. Uh, we can go crazy on this one if we wanted, but let's see if we can get this to like next level and what they would say about it. Uh, did it say like anything like about inadequate quality or something like that? Nah. Okay. Uh, in fact, our reputation went up. That's crazy. But yeah, look at that chart. We really like were a little bit stagnant until like 2000. It only took a couple like really good releases and then to boost us and then you know windmills and stuff like that kind of kept our rate going up constant. This might have been when we made the mansion, I want to say. Mm. I have to look at the time on the videos and see that. That's what's nice about doing this on YouTube, is I can actually revisit all of this stuff on my own. Uh, go back to that. So see, that was quite a long time of just mostly contracts just staying afloat until we got our first release. Uh, sheets, we can go to yearly if we want like the details on that so we could even go all the way back to here nineteen eighty sixty nine twenty seven hundred fifteen oh snap did that just auto complete 
or did something bad happen because we didn't press the develop button? What happened there? Are we going to get into legal trouble for that? I kind of want to just reload the game because we were looking at the chart. Let's see if we get into legal trouble. Let's see if we, if we let it run another month, then I don't think the autosave will be there next month, right? Is that not how it works? Did we miss that deadline or does the design deal autocomplete? No, our reputation went up, it looks like. So I guess it auto-completed. I hope it auto-completed. I'm just going to run with it. Uh, after all, if I have gone this whole game without saves coming, then may as well just continue. Uh, but yeah, finances. So, yeah, 1980. This is our first big boost of 2.7 million. Then we lost a little bit of money that year. Then 1.4 million, 800,000, 300,000, 100,000. It's kind of stagnating there again. Then another 3.5 million, 1.3 million, 800,000, 300,000, 6 million, 9 million, 815, 724, negative 8 million. That must have been when I bought an IP. 800,000. Oh no, when I built my first mansion actually. Uh, 48 million, 9 million, negative 8 million. That must have been the second mansion, I want to say. 1.9 million, 7, 12, 10, 2, 3, 3, 3, 18, 11, 2, 5, 5, 6, 6. Now we're consistently making around like 6 million a year. Uh, because of probably because of design deals and one mills and stuff like that, uh, which is pretty cray cray, cray cray. So I guess I don't have to press develop on these. I always thought I had to develop them or you get yourself a big doo doo, but apparently that just develops itself at the end. It's crazy. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm in any legal trouble. I'm sure I would be if uh, I didn't press the develop button when I had to. So. Uh, let's see, will you buy more stocks? No. No. New design deals? Nothing of interest. Yeah, Allen's isn't going out of business anytime soon, I think. In terms of companies, we are worth at uh, 183 million for one person. That's pretty substantial. And we're the only one left from 1980. Uh, in fact, if you look at this list, the second oldest one is 1998. So almost every other company afterwards is founded in the year 2000 or later. And this company doesn't even look like it's in good condition either. Like I wouldn't be surprised if this was uh, sold out. In fact, we could probably seize the company if we wanted to, like really push it. Because um, they don't even own half of their company so yeah we're the only company that's really made it that far uh and there's some companies that like start the game with like a significant advantage of like being like from 1970 or something like that too and none of them have survived even the the top dog uh that was a uh burglar fording i think hopefully Hopefully. Oh well. Anyways, it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, where is the worth again? But yeah, to be up here. And yeah, it's crazy. the The most valuable company is from two thousand eight. And while its worth seems to be floating at like a stable level. They do have like 54% of their company listed. So there's a little bit of danger for them there. Uh, other things to look at is, what else? I think I only looked at that one graph. Let's see if there's any other graphs that are interesting to look at. 
uh, all deals. Maybe we'll, might as well just take one. Uh, low soft. I feel like I've heard of them before. Uh, they're second highest, so probably not going to go out too soon. So let's just leave that there. Uh, insurance and investments, all companies, all software. Where's the graphs again? I liked looking at the uh, balance chart and stuff like that. It's under finances. Yeah, charts. So let's just look at deals now. So let's unmark all of these. Let's look at deals because we took a lot of them at the end. Looks like we did take a couple in the middle of the game. In fact, we earned like six million from deals here. Here we're just learning about two to three million. This year we've earned about 1.2 million. Um, so we've been making decent money off of deals. We made another like five or six million at the end of the game. Oh no, no way more than that actually. Yeah. We actually lost money from deals here. These are design deals, right? I'm curious how I lost money to that. Uh, contracts, for the beginning of the game. Bills went up as we got more housing, but I mean, that's expected. $1.1 million bills right there. That's funny. Imagine that. I could not imagine that. Uh, education. That's a weird chart. It's a really weird chart. Interests. Why is there the dive there? I ah, know those are like interest from bonds. So now I'm not putting stuff in the bonds anymore. So yeah, that makes sense. Benefits. I have my benefits. I'm giving myself. Repairs. That's always going on. That's interesting. Not really. I think the most interesting thing was the bills, the contracts, and the deals. Uh, if we go to stats, we already looked at that. Utilities. Uh, we're making, I mean, decent electricity. Um, but again, I'm going to have a full video covering it and how to have the most uh, efficient setups for electricity and uh, how to do that. So look forward to that a week after this gets uploaded. And yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Russell. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I hope you guys are happy with how this series went and how it ended. Um, I could drag it on for another couple hours and do more design deals, but I don't think our finances are going to peak much more beyond this. Beyond this. Um, I'm very happy with how this run went. Uh, I hope you guys are too. Not to say that I couldn't do better on the second run. In fact, I know for sure I could do better, even just in the energy department. But also, I believe I know what makes more money now. And uh, how to do things in a way. I do. I still do think the pattern of, of early games using your own IPs when it's very easy to support and make your own IPs and later game transitioning into designer work. I think the transitioning to design work should have happened around 2005-ish uh, for a one employee run, because when I took on Space Wars, that was just way too much time of just development and not enough payoff. I could have been doing design deals that whole time and probably earned more money. Um, so there's, there's a bit of more of a pattern to being successful with this that uh, we didn't follow um quite but we we've learned a lot there's a lot that we've learned uh i learned how to build a pretty decent looking house too so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i've been russell like comment favorite subscribe if you guys want to see more there will be more software ink to come i have my awesome power video coming out next week and then after that i have my phone operating series that i've already done some recording on but uh still a lot more that needs to be done before it's ready to upload and everything and yeah uh but it'll be done it'll be software ink once a week again like it was before 
uh, I think I'd gone like maybe a month and a half-ish without uploading at this point. Or just a month, I'm not sure. Well, thank you guys so much. Take care, and let's close it off on Brain Taylor. The man, the myth, the legend. Did he have gray hair before? I'm not sure if he did. Does he have hair gray? I guess I'll have to look at the video, see. Rewatch the series if you want to see his gray hair. Or his hair turn gray. So I don't think there was. In fact, I think the thumbnail... Hold on. I'm going to do some investigation here. Do I still have the thumbnail saved onto uh, this computer? Uh, one employee challenge... Uh, yo, he used to have, like, purple hair. Yeah, and now he has gray hair. Look at that. Uh, I can't show you because I'm not doing a screen share recording. I'm doing a video game. I'm having OBS capture the game and not the screen, which is why I don't know why the opera showed up earlier in the recording. But, yeah, uh, he has purple hair. So check out the thumbnail if you wanted to see his purple hair before. But, anyways, thank you guys so much. Take care. God bless. Bye. Like, favorite, and subscribe if you guys want to see more. Always interested in your feedback down in the comment section. You guys have a good one. God bless.